Hello and welcome to another episode of Barlow's TV, your local landscape and garden resource. I'm Stephen Barlow, here standing in front of a crepe myrtle tree that I'm going to teach you how to prune and take care of this spring. So, I have a crepe myrtle tree. This is a, what we call multi-stem crepe myrtle. A lot of customers we have coming in right now saying, oh, my crepe myrtle's dead. Most of the time your crepe myrtle is not dead, although we had a hard winter. Crepe myrtles are one of the last trees to leaf out. So what I recommend you do is you get either a knife or, or you have a really good pair of these are Corona pruning shears. They're really good. What I'll do is I'm going to scrape a little piece off. You see what's green underneath there? That means that it is alive. So although this tree looks dead in the middle of winter, it definitely is alive. So check that first to make sure before you make the assumption that, oh, my crepe myrtle tree is dead. So I have a crepe myrtle tree here that does need some pruning and some tricks to pruning. When you're pruning anything, the main thing you want to do is remove dead or diseased wood and branches that are crossing each other and you want to leave main shoots that new branches can come off of. So right here I have some of these. If you look over here on this branch here, I have some smaller little twigs I'm going to I'm going to remove off so I leave this main leader. So I take a lot of these off cuz you don't want a tree that's really top heavy could become could become too large and it could fall over. So you want to make sure there's a lot of air inside the tree. So I'm pruning all these off. This one, this branch is not really a main shoot, it's kind of taken over. So I'm going to get all these pruned back and I'm even going to cut this one all the way back to here. And like I said, I have a really good pair of pruning shears, which is really important. I can't stress that enough when you're pruning trees or shrubs to have a really good pair. Let the pruners do the work. So that branch is all set. That's ready to leaf out. So I'm going to keep going with this tree and then we'll come to check back and take a look how it turns out. So I'm up here pruning the top half of this crepe myrtle tree out. You know, I am taking a lot off of this tree, but don't forget, crepe myrtles are extremely fast growing trees. They can grow four to six feet a year. So it's okay that I prune it really hard and that'll really help to push out really nice flush growth. And I don't want this tree to get too top heavy on me. So I'm giving it a hard prune. I'm cutting a decent amount off. You can see I've, I've really pruned a lot off of this tree. I'm just gonna finish up these branches here. And that, that, that'll help this tree to really flush out. Um, so check back here. We're going to finish pruning this tree up and we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so we're all done planting this tree. It's all ready to leaf out come uh, about another two, three more weeks. You can see it kind of looks bare, but that's okay because I got rid of all those suckers. I got rid of cross branches. I got rid of some branches that were diseased or dead. And this is ready to just flush out with growth. One more thing that I recommend with all like our deciduous or um, flowering shrubs that you don't holly tone is I want to put plant tone around this. This is a great organic fertilizer that'll help really push out that growth when it starts going. So what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna put a couple handfuls around it. I'm actually gonna pull the mulch away from it and I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna mix in this plant tone around. On, on this size tree, I'm probably gonna put three or four handfuls of plant tone right around the base of the tree. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix that in and then I'm gonna mix it in with the soil really good and that'll help. And I'm gonna fertilize this tree again once it starts to leaf out, same thing three to four handfuls right around Memorial Day, and I might do one more time right around July 4th, and I'm not gonna feed it again for the rest of the year. So just a couple tidbits on how to prune your crepe myrtle this spring. I wish you all the best of luck, and if you have any questions, please feel free to stop in and see us, or check out more of our videos on our website. Thanks, and have a great day.